Hey, hey guys. Okay, now things look a little bit different tonight. Uh, we're trying something completely new for streaming and um, you're going to have to be patient with me and Matt while we figure out exactly what we're doing. Um, A, the lighting looks different. Um, so happy Mother's Day, all of us that are celebrating. And um, it looks a little different because Hello, um, we are streaming at this moment through YouTube and Facebook at the same time on one device. So this is the very first time. So I want to say hello. I want to welcome you. But give me just a minute while Matt and I figure out where we can read your comments and say hello. Um, Matthew, how are you? I'm on. Where we can read your comments and say hello. Whoa. Are you I, on? I picked you up on the tunes. So we're streaming right now through StreamYard. That's the that's the app that we're using. It's not really an app, but that's the platform we're using. Well, we're going through YouTube it's on my computer at the same time. I think I whoa, see whoa, YouTube. Whoa. I got you on the books too. You we're on Facebook as well, yeah. and YouTube. And so, do you have us on the gram yet? On the gram. Oh, you know what, honey. I didn't set up my Instagram. Why didn't you set up Instagram? Because this was all too much for me. How Guys, we have a huge announcement I want to tell you in just a minute, so don't go anywhere, but I apologize. Um, the volume on the iPad is on the sides. Guys, please be patient while we work all this out. Uh, I got it. Found you it. got it? Okay. So we're, we're on the computer, and we're streaming through Facebook and YouTube at the same time. And I wanted to make sure I could see all your comments. Guys, I have a brand new piece of furniture I'm working on. Um, and I have something to tell you about this piece of furniture that you need to know. Every single one of you needs to know. So give me just a second. Okay, so I see um, YouTube comments. But what I'm seeing here, oh, this is how it is. I see comments and it tells me whether it's from Facebook or it's from YouTube. How this do you see that? So cool. What? So guys, this platform is StreamYard. Hi, Heather Watson. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Delisa. Hi, Mary. Hi, Derek. Hello, everybody. Hello, Kathleen. Hi, so Emma. I'm super excited. Well, on the side of, because I'm on StreamYard, babe, oh. like if you come and you look, you'll be able to see like next to their profile, they have um, Facebook or um, YouTube, which is really crazy. So um, you can see them both, though, right, from where you are? Well, yeah, either one. So, like, I would have to be on StreamYard to see both comments. Yeah, you'd have to be sitting right here next to me to be able to see. I mean, see. I can do it. I can be right in the middle of the picture if you want me to. Right in the middle of the picture. Such a dork. So thank you for the thumbs up already. I need to make an announcement. So give me just a second. It is cool. I wanted to see if this would work. We've been trying to do this for the last couple of weeks, and we forget every time. We didn't give ourselves enough time in the past, but we have the time. Two things I want to go over with. I'm going to tell you something about this really quickly that you all need to know. I'm also going to tell you something about this, and it's going to be a fun, and everybody is invited to participate. It's a great little Bombay chest. Just hold on. I have something fun to tell hey, what's you. What's the code for this? You one? want me to tell you the code? I can't tell you that code out loud, honey. Why? Because it's a very important code that I use often. Oh. Can you give me, is that I Honey, I'm not on Instagram. You can just use your phone uh, and follow Facebook. Just you're not going to, oh, you didn't set it up. I forgot to set up That's Instagram. what you just said. Sorry, okay. I did. I told him this already. Okay, so the first thing I want to tell you real quickly, can I go? No. I'm how, so excited. How is IG going to know about this thing we're getting ready to do? I'm going to have to say it again next time I'm on. Okay. All right. I mean, because, well, I could do it and just put my phone up. No, no, no. It's okay. It's I'm all right. Just, I'm already in the stuff. zone now. You were, yeah, you're in the zone. Work it. Let's go. Work it. Okay. So the first thing I want to tell you really quickly, this will take one, no, this will take 30 seconds. If you have bought a water girl, there have been some question on, um, like, what if it doesn't spray for me? So I want to show you a really simple trick that I've learned about it. I still have my water girl from one year ago. When Josie and Jerry sent me my sample water bottle, I'm still using, it's not this one. I still am using it. It's right up on the shelf. And anytime I have company or guests, I have found out that there's a little flexible ring inside of this, you all. So if you've bought one of these, occasionally this little guy gets stuck right up in there. And if it gets stuck, it's not going to work properly. It needs to dangle. Okay. This is something that I want you all to understand that if you bought one of these, it needs to go back and forth. There's a reason why it's here. It's not supposed to be stuck up there. So if you have trouble spraying it, 
make sure first and foremost that this is working back and forth okay it's part of I don't know if it's part of the suction or what it has to do with it but just a little simple trip trick that I have learned and I wanted to share with the rest of you the number one thing I want to tell you about this piece tonight on this Bombay chest is Matt and I have got together we've been trying to figure this out for the last couple of weeks but we want to make it to where one of you has the option of winning this piece so I'm going to paint this piece. I mean, not like right now. Not, not at like, this moment. But, like but I'm going to give you the rules. Painting. I'm going to give you the rules. You are going to, somebody gets to win this piece. And so I'm super excited. Like I, I obviously look at all the detail. But anybody watching will have the opportunity to win. So for the next two weeks, I'll be painting it every Wednesday and Sunday that we come on here for obviously my favorite how to paint show. Um, but what we've decided is you may know, and we wanted to kind of give back and kind of just spread joy and kind of staying with that and, and trying to stay with uplifting and, and things like that. Um, but not everybody I understand is in the case or in a situation to buy a piece of my furniture. So why don't we give it away? What? Why don't we give it away? And so Matt was like, I said, Matt, I want to give away the next piece of furniture. And he's like, well, how in the world would we pick? And I said, we're not going to pick. You're going to pick who we give it to. And so here's how this is going to work. Here's how this is going to work. You guys get to nominate somebody. Okay. So what you get to do is the person that wins has to be nominated by somebody else. Now, I don't mind if you get with your mom or your sister or your bestie and you nominate each other, but you're going to email me. Okay. And Michelle's going to list um, the email, my email, Dion at the Turquoise Iris. And you're going to basically nominate somebody that you think is deserving of getting a free piece of furniture that something like this would probably be where, you know, I would list it at least at $600. Um, now, the person has to pay for shipping. And this is probably going to be $200 to $250 for shipping. And, of course, guys, it can only be for the United States. I'm sorry, but at the moment, there's no way that I could ship this overseas right now um, or for a while. <laughs> but... We wanted to do something where we can give it away to one of you. You guys get to nominate someone you feel like will deserve it. And two, we're all going to do the voting together. Okay. Anyone can nominate a person. Anyone. You nominate someone that you think is deserving of this piece of furniture. Matt and I and Michelle, the three of us, we're each going to pick one that we feel like. Um, Matt will pick one that he thinks is the most deserving. I will pick someone and Michelle will pick someone. So the three of us will end up reading them live. We'll send out an email and we will send you all on our email the voting, like cast your vote. And you will pick one of the three people that we narrow it down to. So we're hoping to obviously get a lot of entries because there's such wonderful people on here. And even if it's someone that doesn't watch, but it's just somebody that you think would be deserving or maybe you have, um, you know, a teacher or a friend or somebody that's been struggling or um, somebody that just watches the show all the time um, and that loves painted furniture. Well, even if it is someone like it doesn't matter what it, just tell us why in a hundred words or less, maybe, and you'll email that to Dion at the Turquoise Iris. And this can be on YouTube or Facebook. It doesn't matter what platform you're on. Everybody can advise or everybody can nominate somebody. And like I said, you're going to want to nominate yourself, maybe. <laughs> and I won't let you nominate yourself. However, I will. It, it doesn't bother me if you get with your best friend and say, you nominate me and I'll nominate you. And I don't mind if you guys do that. Um, but we want to give it away. So the only condition is that the person that wins will actually have to pay for shipping and we'll set up for James. And like I said, it probably for this piece, depending on where the person lives, I'm in Oklahoma City, it'll be around two to $250. And it wouldn't be a rush thing. It would just be whenever, you know, we'll work out the shipping is what I'm trying to say, but we're going to give it away. So we're going to work on it together. It's going to be, I have the, the colors right here. Uh, but if you guys have any, does anybody have any questions, Matthew, on like what the rules are? 
um, or what they need to do because my comments have stopped. Can you nominate more than one person? Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Uh, Michelle, Michelle has uh, put the link up in the description on YouTube and Facebook. Yes. And so I think the idea was to why we wanted to nominate you nominate somebody else was to show that gratification towards your 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 fellow a gratitude gratitude right yeah your gratitude show your gratitude towards somebody else and why you feel like they deserve it and I think it's important to um, to do that at times to to show gratification towards other people and uh, yes and so anyway we thought that would just be a great idea yes. And so um, what you'll do is you'll submit it to me via email and then make sure you're on my email list because when we, what we'll do is we'll, we'll go live when we narrowed it down and I'm going to give you guys two weeks to nominate somebody. I'll take entries for two weeks. You want to make sure you're on the mailing list because we're going to send out the nominees that way. I will send out an email that says vote for this, this, or this. Um, and we'll narrow it down to three people. And then you guys are basically the ones that are going to do the voting. And so I will read some of the entries. If you don't mind, I would love to, every time we come on for the next couple of weeks, I would love to say, I, I can leave it anonymous if you want to, but I'd love to, you know, read some of the entries and find out some things about you um, while your friend or your daughter or your mother has nominated you as someone that, um, should win. And so like Derek says, Oh, it's a great idea. Dion. I've got someone in mind right now. Uh, that is awesome. And Rob says he'll come pick it up. LOL. Rob, all right, Rob. <laughs> that I'm works too. You can yeah. come pick it up too. That, that would be, um, even better. So we're giving this piece away. So, um, we decided that we'll try this out and see how it works and see how you guys, you know, participate. And if you like this, Let's just keep this idea going. I think it sounds like a lot of fun. Um, and you know what? When we went live, the camera shifted over. So let me move this back over. We just may make this a trend and give away furniture on a regular basis. We'll just see how this goes. Um, but if you're just popping on, I wanted to give that little tip about the water girl because I realized working with it for the last year, um, this is just something that you need to make sure stays flexible. Um, several people, and of course, I mean, we've sold thousands of these and occasionally there's going to be one that's defective or it stops working. Um, but Pink Pixie is of true um, loyalty and such a great company that if um, they will work with you and figure out if they need to send a replacement or anything like that as well. So um, from what I've seen, the water girl has been very good quality. And I just wanted to give that little tip. The other thing is um, when you first get it, the other thing I wanted to tell you is that when you start spraying, okay, um, it will take a little bit to get going, but once that it does, it is a continuous spray bottle. So there are times that you see me working on here and I'll work and I'll spray on it and it's still spraying. You guys may not notice it, and I just set it down, but it finishes the spray as I set it down. So I use what I need. Um, but if you if you if you get yours and you spray a little bit and it keeps spraying, it's not defective. It's a continuous spray bottle, so that's kind of what it does. Um, and I just set mine aside and kind of let it spray out. Um, we have a few questions. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to get started. Painting. Question. Yes, get started, and we can answer questions. Why don't we put in the email that we are okay with the email being read? That would be great. If you're okay with me reading it out loud, either anonymously or privately, like either way or openly, put that in the email too. Because we're going to pick, if we feel like they're really good or we think they're a lot of fun, we'll want to share that and we'll read it with you guys. So together, as a group, we're going to find the right person that gets to win this piece. Okay? We're together as a group. Um. Latrija, Al, Alia, Alla, how do I get on the mailing list? How do you get on the mailing list? You go to theturquoiseiris.com. And when you sign up on the mailing list, I have a brand new um, tutorial that Matt put together that nobody has seen. It was not on YouTube. It's nobody has seen it except for Matt when he made the video. So you just get on the mailing list. Dion at theturquoiseiris.com is my email. Um, so. <laughs> anyway, but we can help you. You can always, um, we can help you along. But that was the best way we could think of to where you guys get to nominate and you get to vote. Yeah? Good? 
So Matt and I are kind of excited. I was actually a little bit, um, a little bit nervous and just kind of excited to, to tell you um, that we had something fun we wanted to start doing. And well, I, I kind of hope it catches on. This might be kind of fun. Um, this I'm gonna, is fun. This is so much fun. Um, I have Old 57. Old 57. Sandy Blonde. Sandy Blonde. Salty Kiss. Salty Kiss. Monet's Garden. Monet's Garden. Bohemian Blue. Bohemian Blue. And Pennies from Heaven. Pennies from Heaven. Now, and Old School. And I, no, there is no Old School. I have the Caddy Brush. And I have a couple of the uh, little D's. Okay. So I also have a little bit of liquid sunshine. I'm not sure I'm going to use this yet. I know we're not going to get to this right now. Um, so. But we might. We might. Okay. So here's what we're, here's where our inspiration photo is. I saw this on Pinterest. And since the, the series this summer is under the boardwalk, this one's going to be called saltwater taffy okay taffy. and i believe it was tanya from passionate pigment she actually chose that name last time and i wanted to use it so think about taffy and think about this blue green color with the old 57 and the salty kiss and so we're under the boardwalk literally under the boardwalk is going to be my inspiration so we're going to have water kind of down the center and it's going to be a little bit brighter. It's going to get darker as it gets up close. A little bohemian blue, a little bit of copper over here. And then it's going to have like uh, the sandy blonde will be kind of like the posts going into the water. So that's kind of the description and kind of what I'm seeing up here. I don't know. Um, Michelle, thank you so much for posting all those links in my email. Um, when is the deadline for emailing our picks? Jasmine, we are going to say the deadline is two weeks from today. So what date would that be? Two weeks. Um, it's going to be the 24th. Today is the what? 10th? 9th, um, 10th? 11th? Let's see. Yeah, it's the 10th. Today's the 10th. So two weeks from today is the deadline for your entries. No, back that up. Two weeks from yesterday. Because I want to announce the winner two weeks from today. So, um... Okay, we got a question. I have a piece of furniture. I'll give you the date. I got, and some of the veneer is missing. I filled it in with wood putty. But I want to put dark and decrepit on the top. Will I see the patchwork I have done? Lisa Horner on the on the books had that question. So she has some veneer missing, put some wood filler in it. She wants to use dark and decrepit. Uh -huh. Will that show up? Hang on. I'm sorry, guys. I need to give you a date so I can answer the last question. Uh, that'd be May 23rd. Thank you, Michelle. May 23rd is the date. Yes, the 23rd is the date. Um, okay, so she wants, she filled it in with wood putty? Wood putty, and she wants to use dark and decrepit uh, on the top. Would that, would the wood putty show through? Or would the wood filler show through? It probably will. With dark and decrepit. It maybe a few will. coats on it, maybe? Yeah, it would probably need a couple of coats of dark and decrepit. I will be honest with you. Um, I, I'm afraid that it probably would show. Oh, Beauty, you're late. Oh, no, you missed it. You missed the news, Beauty. Man. Someone tell her. Somebody get on the horn to Beauty. Oh, guys, such good news going on today. We're spreading joy as much as we can. Um, got my water girl. And I am going to start with the sandy blonde on the edges and old 57 here. And I'm not putting on a base coat. I'm just going to do two coats, basically. I'm going to get started. I'm just going to go from here. This Bombay chest is going to go to one of you guys or someone that we don't even know. That's the exciting part. It could be someone that doesn't even watch. Um, it doesn't matter. There are no rules other than they have to be able to pay for shipping, um, which on this size, it'll probably be two to $2.50. Um, and it won't be a rush thing, but think of somebody who might maybe not be able to ever afford a piece or whatever, whatever. It doesn't matter. Maybe, maybe they could, but just um, you want to nominate them. Could I explain the YouTube workshop, please? So the YouTube membership, if you go to our page, it's easiest on a computer. For, for some reason, everything with YouTube is easier on the computer. Um, you can, that you can um, click the button at the top of my page that says join. And there's a schedule listed if you scroll back. 
There's a schedule listed. We go live on the first of every month, Matt and I. We have almost 100 members now on the YouTube channel. Um, so you guys are so much fun. And then just yesterday, I released the first tutorial, which was with me painting an iris and how I paint irises on a canvas. So each month, I'm going to do a new flower. If there's any other things I could tell you about the YouTube membership, just ask away, sister. Ask away. <laughs> the tree uh, said, uh, it would be awesome if the color you're using could pop up on the screen. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah. it's Everything is a little bit different right now, guys. We're streaming our YouTube and Facebook through my laptop both at the same time. So you know how so we have just one actual view. So even if you go to Facebook or YouTube, it's the actual same uh, view. Yeah, that's just pretty exciting. So we're doing lots of first things tonight, you guys. I'm glad that you guys are here and a part of it. Um, we announced that we're going to give away this piece of furniture to somebody, and you guys get to nominate it, and you guys get to pick who get who wins it. Um, super excited, you guys, and. Like I said, we may just have to keep this trend going. We'll see. We'll see what kind of response and, and how well everyone participates. Okay. Um, the color you're using is Sandy Blonde. Yep. It's a DIY. I use DIY paint. And my theme is under the boardwalk. That's my theme for this summer. So it's got a little bit of a sandy touch to it. And we're going to incorporate some watercolors. And basically, I'm, my inspiration photo is under the pier with some really bright, beautiful blue water. And I'm just putting on my base coat right now. I hope everybody had a good day. I had a wonderful Mother's Day. Matt got me the wind charms I asked for. I did. What? I'm so good. I she, Maybe I'm so good. Right. 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 That's why, that's why you got them. But we got the wind chimes, and I made her breakfast this morning. Yep. I made me French toast with blueberries, and I sat outside and ate breakfast. And then I went and got her dinner tonight, and then I took the handles off the dresser for Oh, her. my gosh. Now you're really and digging. And then I set up the lighting. Oh, my. And now I'm reading comments. <laughs> and then later tonight, she's going to give me a back rub. I was going to say, do I get a back rub? <laughs> we have Lynn Chambers. Anyway, it's been a wonderful day. Vancouver Island, British Columbia. It's been a wonderful day, everyone, for me. And I hope that you all had a wonderful day, too. Lots of love. And a lot of you um, missing mamas. Um, I know that a lot of it, someday, sometimes this day is actually really hard. So I just feel for you. And um, I hope that you were able to find some joy today. It's all about the math. Yes, everybody. It's all about the math. Um, as far as the, the the other things to tell you about the YouTube group, Matt and I do kind of like a business coaching. You get behind the scenes, um, just private videos just for you guys. It's um, I have a coaching group on Facebook, and this is totally different. Okay. And I would like to say happy Mother's Day to all the wonderful mothers out there. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. All right, so this is still Sandy Bond. I'm getting ready to grab my old 57. I absolutely love this Bombay chest. The original hardware, I told Matt, I said, I can't get it off of here. There's no screws on the inside. So we got his drill, and he took off the whole inside facing. And anyway, he figured it out. And I would have figured it out if I really wanted to take the time. Mr. Woods. What? what I, would, I would have figured it out. All right. All right. Any more questions about nominating somebody to win this piece of furniture? Are there any questions about that? You guys, I want to make sure everybody understands the rules and how we're going to do it. I don't have any questions. You don't? No, I'm good. I know what's going on. You think we're safe? I just got to do a lot of reading. I hope I have to do a lot of reading. I hope we have a lot of nominations. I know. I'm hoping that the email blows up. Michelle's I hope we don't have like three. <laughs> that will be easy to pick our well, winners. Well, it would be easy it. at that point. But. It would be easier to pick, easy to pick our winners. 
I was making the joke. I was like, well, we have a few pieces in, in the house, you know, that's for sale. And I said, gosh, we have more pieces than I like to have. Of course, it's been quarantine. The, the shipper, like it's been not as easy to sell furniture, not as many shoppers and stuff. And I said, I think, I, I think I'd rather just give this piece away. And then I was like, I'm going to give a piece away. Like that sounds like a great idea. Hello. <laughs> Let's give something away. Instead of paint, let's give away a piece of furniture. Liz Armstrong, we will probably repeat the uh, what we're doing with this piece uh, towards the end of the live. So just hang on, and then we'll repeat all the rules, regulations, and uh, yeah. Yes. Okay, Liz, we will. We are going to go over it again, so I don't have to say it too many times, but we um, are asking for entries. Is the base coat more of a yellow it's or a gray or a yellow? There's no gray in this whatsoever. Sandy Blonde is very much tan. It's a yellow, It's got a yellow base coat, like a yellow undertone. There's no uh, gray in this whatsoever. And because we're talking about sand and piers, I just kind of wanted to do Sandy Blonde. There's another color I considered called Faded Burlap, um, which is a great color, but I decided to go with the one that has the more yellow undertones. I'm getting ready to grab Old 57 and Salty Kiss. And we're going to name this piece. Taffy. Laffy Taffy. No. What am I going to name it? Fruit Loops. No. What am I going to name it? Under the Taffy Boardwalk. Cotton Candy Taffy. You're wearing me. Woods Laffy Woods. Taffy. Something Taffy. Laffy Taffy. Salt. Salt Kiss Taffy. I need you to stop. Oh, uh, thank you, Passionate Pigment. What'd she do? She donated a little bit on the YouTube fund. Tanya! Tanya, thank you so much. That's so nice. Thank Passionate Pigment. Salt Water Taffy. Salt Water Taffy. Salt She's the one that picked the name. Yes, Passionate She's, Pigment did a nice job. The yes. Yes, that's right. She did pick the name. Yes. That's why she remembered. <laughs> salt Water Taffy. I have to remember that. So I'm using Salty Kiss. In just a minute, but I'm going to come in now with some old 57. I got that on there. I'm going to leave all of that just the way that it is. Okay, are we ready for this, guys? Ready for? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, honey. I, let me let me answer some. I'm. I need to switch sides. You need to hold on. We need to make sure everybody's ready for this. Now you sound dramatic. You ask them if they're ready. Sound dramatic. So, well, you ask them if they're ready, so we need to make sure they're ready. Y'all ready for this? All right. Uh, Dina Purley, I painted with DIY paint for the first time. It was like a dream to work with. It did not trigger my allergies. Wonderful. Wonderful. Awesome. That's okay. so good to know. Rainbow 505. She's ready. She's ready to rock and roll. She's ready to rock and roll. Okay, so we're doing water, guys. This is under the board box. This is saltwater taffy is the name. Um, the inspiration is going to have water down the center. So we're going to have a brighter, and it's going to get deeper as it gets closer and more wide. And then we're going to, you know, pretend that the piers and what we're actually kind of looking down a tunnel. And so it's wider at the front, and then it's more narrow um, down as we're looking, which we're going to treat it like. Um, the front, the bottom is what's up close. Okay. My hair, I should have put my hair back. Okay. Jasmine, I'm helping my friend decorate her entire home and I've been painting with my DIY paint and I'm loving it. Oh, good. Good, good, good. good. That sounds great, Jasmine. Waiting for you to help your friend. Uh, looks like Janae. Is it J-A-N-A-H? I hope I'm saying that right. Janae, I noticed with this kind of painting, you don't open drawers and paint side of drawers. Mm -hmm. No, I treat it like a canvas. It's an art piece. I need everything to run smoothly. I need it all to flow. I can go back and do the drawers later but if I choose to, if I need to. But I definitely have not, have not done that. I've painted like this for years. That's just what works for me. you got to do what works for you. Finish that last wardrobe. It's still sitting right here, though. We haven't moved it into the other room yet, but um, that was a lot, a lot of fun. All right, so now let's get some of this. This is still just kind of the base coat. We'll end up doing kind of the exact same thing over it. And this color is, this is old no. five seven. 
This now is... you're using, um, Sorry. hold on, no, 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 Monet's Garden. No, um, Water Lily. Gosh darn it. Um, you really should be better at this. I really should. I mean, it's a little embarrassing. What is it? It's salty. Oh, salty kiss. The color of yeah, our salty kiss. Our doors. Thank you, Michelle. We think she's paying attention. Why? It's a good thing Michelle's on here tonight. I she's know. Michelle. So I'm just kind of laying out my idea a little bit, you guys. I'm not worried about this looking great right now because it just a it doesn't, <laughs> and it's not. But let's keep in mind, you guys get to nominate somebody that gets to win this. Ooh, doesn't that sound like fun? This is fun. This is a lot of fun. I, feel, I love giving things they, away. These people are kind of liking the colors. Oh, good. And I, I don't know why they're not. You don't have old. You don't have old school on there yet. Stop. Or black velvet. Stop. Sing it. No, I don't even. I don't really like. Hey, we got Alice here tonight. Alice is here. Alice, you're gonna want 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 to watch um, to the end. We, we made an announcement at the beginning, so uh, okay, you've been at the hospital all day. I'm very very sorry. We I'm hope sorry you're we hope you're doing that. well. But we made an announcement, and I want to make sure everybody knows our fun news that we're all participating in together as a group. Now it's Monet's Garden. So we're kind of getting up kind of where the shadows are underneath the pier. And we're going to go a little bit darker. And then in just a second, I'm going to grab that, that um, Bohemian Blue. We'll have some copper added in. We'll bring back some more sand. Oh, you guys, it's going to be good. And we're going to call it Saltwater Taffy. Saltwater Taffy. our under Pigmented, the pin, what is it? Pigmented, pig, 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 passionate, passionate pigment. pigment. <sighs> I'm having a rough night. Well, why? You just I think after, the, after that announce that you had, it's just been, I've been on a downward spiral. Because you were excited. And I got nervous. excited. I was nervous. Yeah, really and I was yelling. like, you're, is you're, this even you're, really going to go? Is this going to go well? And then it was like, <sighs> take it down a notch, bro. You're yelling. I don't think they can hear me. They're, you're yelling. I'm excited. I know, but you're yelling and like, this is a small room. Uh, DD, does DIY paint wash out of hair easily? Yes, it does. Didn't you do a whole I show I colored my whole hair. hair. Yes. I colored my hair and it washed out. Boy, that Bohemian Blue and Water Lily went down the drain. <laughs> it does. Yes, Josie. Thank you. She said, Matt, old school on the top would look like a wood pier. Well... I think that's a wonderful idea, Josie. Hang wonderful. tight. I have ideas for more color. I have more. I have ideas. Okay. Now we're going to get this Bohemian Blue in here. Denise O'Hare, just, uh, yeah, we made an announcement at the beginning of the show. Uh, we'll be talking about it again at the end of the show, so just hang around and we'll get you the... Uh, Info on the down low. Mm -hmm. See what I did there? And you can start sending entries right away, so you don't have to wait, guys. So what you got there? You got some uh, blue iris? Matthew Woods. I'm almost embarrassed. What color is this? Mermaid tail. Okay. I'm going to see if... Elijah Bohemian blue. I'm gonna, Bohemian I'm, blue. I'm going to see if Elijah will take over this. He did a really good job the other night. Who? Elijah. Oh, I said holding. He won't come on here with me yet. Elijah did a really good job when he and Julia were on the other night. But, you know, he only came on because she asked him to. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> looks like Mary Lee Susan. I tuned in late. Is the paint thinned out? No. Nope. Just use a little bit of water? I sprayed a little bit of water on it, but it's in my sample jars. It's not thinned out. I'm just putting it over um, our sandy lawn, and the paint is wet, as in I've used my, my water girl just to mist it. We got, it's Janet from another planet, chime in, Val Ward. Hey, ladies. Irma Rosales is Happy on. Mother's Day to those of you who are celebrating today. 
I know it was weird for a lot of people. Some people weren't able to see their families. So my heart goes out to you guys. Okay. Rob has a good uh, point that I need to bring up. Do you really? I do. Rob? I think it's quite important. He brought he, he brought it to my attention. Rob. And I think it's something that we need to discuss because it's it's an important. It's a very important. We need to start making my list for Father's Day. Right now? I Rob. think we should get a start on it. I mean, I'm just saying. It's Mother's Day, but... Is it ever really too early to start on Father's Day? Yes. <laughs> it is. Father's Day is in June. How long did you ago did you buy my gift, Matt? Last this well, I bought it this week. Yeah, this week. Did you buy it Friday? Nope. Are you sure? Nope. You're not sure? It was either Thursday or Friday. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll find out when Father's Day is, and I'll talk about it two days before. That's perfectly fine. <laughs> I'm just teasing. That's perfectly fine. Just make sure it's wrapped. You know me, I have, though. I have breakfast ready. You know me. I don't wait till the last minute. I know you don't. All um, right. So I'm coming back in with the second coat. So the paint is still wet up here. So I'm going to come in, and I want to narrow my water and have it skinnier and come down this way. So I'm going to overlap the sandy blonde over the color. I'm going to pull it forward. This is kind of how I did the carousel dresser when I did the pinks and the blues. Um, brought it all into to the center. Alice says, Happy Mother's Day. And same to you, Miss Alice. Same to you, dear. Thanks for being here and popping on with us. It's a good day. I mean, our weather wasn't great today. It was a little cold today. It was a little, it was a little chilly today, but it, I mean, it was still a good day. Yeah, it was. Got to see my mom. Yes. Mm -hmm. On Mother's Day, got to see your mom for a few minutes. <laughs> um, there was a question on here. This one. Oh, yes, it's from Luann. It's Hake, I believe. Yeah. Yes. Yes, hey. Luann. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Luann. I know. I know Luann. Uh, do you design boards to figure out color combinations? These colors are gorgeous together. I don't design boards. Um, I just get in here and play with it. You know, I, 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 I don't know. I just get in here and play with it, Luann. Well, you kind of, I mean, you may see some inspiration. but Oh, no, I had a photo that I was kind of yeah, looking right, at, but right. I just kind of match it to a DIY paint. Um, this one, the water was almost glowing underneath the pier, underneath the, you know, like the boardwalk to the pier. And I just thought, yes, most people, since we're giving this piece away, most people can work a bluish green into their home decor. And of course, I don't want to do something that's really bold and striking because I want it to fit into someone's home. Like, I don't want someone to be nominated and then win and go, now what am I going to do with this <laughs> and want to give it away? Um, Katie, looks like, uh, excuse me, Carrie Walters. This is the first time I've caught you live. Oh. Love watching you guys. She's over there on the on the YouTube's. Well, I'm so glad you're here, Carrie. Thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you so much, Jasmine. Jasmine donated. She says, "Happy Mother's Day, Dion. So grateful Jasmine. for this giveaway. Have two or three, maybe four people in mind for that chat. I think that's great. You can nominate as many people as you want. You can nominate as many people as you want, Jasmine. That's so generous of you to nominate more than one person, too. Wow, we have Vasilis Contos. I hope I said that right. Hello, everybody from Athens, Greece, and 30 degrees. Oh, no. Welcome. Thanks from Athens. All right, so we've got the idea. I need it to go down further. And we have Margie. Uh, hello, everyone from Cape Corral, Florida. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Thanks for being on here, and happy Mother's Day to you, too. All right. So I, love I know, place. Jasmine, right? Greece, Athens, Greece. Always wanted to go there as well. Maybe we can do a class in Athens, Greece, honey. You think we can get anybody to show up? Sure, honey. Well, we can give it a shot. I mean, why not? Maybe we'll just invite all of our friends. Hey, this is where we're going to be. Let's go. I'm sure they'll jump right on board. I bet Jasmine would be there. 
one of these days, when the kids are older, we plan on traveling a little bit more and doing some workshops all around. That would be really fun. Okay, Patrice has a question. Can I put DIY paint on a piece that is already painted with regular paint? Yes, you absolutely can. DIY will stick to just about anything. Um, if, if, I'm assuming if it's already painted, it might be a latex. could be a chalk paint, but I'm assuming it's latex. Um, you might just want to sand it up just a little bit, but you can definitely, I have definitely painted over latex painted pieces with DIY without priming. I'm just kind of playing around, guys. I'm not getting that just right, but in my mind, the water is wider up at the front. It's darker, and then it almost has like this glow the further it goes away from me. Um, I was thinking about swapping my color combinations and having it darker at the top and further away, but this is the image of the photo, and I'm just kind of using the piers as the darker, I mean, as the brown color, and um, I'll, I need to show you. I would have printed the picture. We'll have it for next time, right? I don't know. I, we need to change out our ink, our ink on our cartridge. It didn't come out. Right. Uh, Didi said that chest would look great in Hawaii. Hawaii. I'm I hoping. would look good in Hawaii. Did you say you would look good? I would look good in Hawaii. I think everybody looks good in Hawaii. <laughs> I think. And if you're like in Hawaii, aren't you just like. Just looking good. You're just looking good. You're just like, hey, I'm in Hawaii. I'm look good. Um, I think any piece would look good in Hawaii, but I also hope that this piece will look good in any state because whoever wins it, it can live anywhere. All right. Well, even if you lived in New Jersey where it's like cold right now, you could just sit by the fire with like a margarita and Wait. just picture that you're underneath a pier watching the waves crashing. Kind of take your mind off of it a little bit. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I mean, I'm just saying. That sounds nice. Turn on some music that takes you on vacation. You know, some people are blessed enough they actually have things like this in their hometown. That may not be everybody's jam, but it would be mine. Be your jam? It would be my jam, baby. You know me, I want to go to live at a beach somewhere. I want to live there one of these days. I want to go to Lanai. Yeah? Yeah, that's where I want to visit. Catch some waves. Drink some coconuts. Drinks. Are there any questions, honey? Everybody's fine, um, or can you not see the questions? Yeah, I mean, you paint. Okay, we have a question about doors. I think uh, a few people have answered that. Lisa Dixon answered. Uh, Janae, she had a question about painting the doors with the paint. Um, so. She mentioned that you painted all of your outside doors. I did. I painted all of them this color right here, the Salty Kiss. All of our exterior doors, the front door and all the back doors. Now, they don't get, none of them get direct rain or weather. They all are, uh, they all have a very large, um, what's the word, babe? An over, there's an overhang for all of them. Josie said, not much going on in the night. And I think that's why it appeals, it appears, it appeals to me. There's That's not much going on. <laughs> it's just <laughs> sit on the beach and not have a care in the world. Is Lanai in Hawaii? Yes, it's one of the, the smaller islands. Ah, gotcha. Josie and Jerry love to go to Hawaii. Trina Almond, are you using Monet's Garden? Now I am. That was Salty Kiss, and I just grabbed Monet's Garden. Uh, Janae, did you use an exterior sealer? I just put DIY, their big top on it. Because, like I said, ours will not get any direct sun or any direct um, water because of how far the overhang is. I would recommend you do put something over it that is made for exterior use. Isabel, can I paint my outdoor fiberglass door with DIY? That's a great question. I haven't done that before, so I don't want to say yes. If it were me, I would do it. Try it out. Yeah, maybe do like a small section. See yeah. how it covers and stuff I like that. I would do it, but I'm yeah. not going to say it's going to be great. And then you may be mad at me. I can't deal with it if you're mad at me. <laughs> Evolving Blessings says, Lanai means porch slash deck. Oh, okay. Okay. So I'm going to go back in with Bohemian Blue. Um, just to review, you guys, this is Sandy Blonde, 
Old 57, Salty Kiss, Monet's Garden, and Bohemian Blue. I'm going to be adding in some copper as well. My inspiration is under the boardwalk, and I'm going to call this piece Saltwater Taffy. Okay. Um, I'm putting in some, some layers of color for water, pretending that there's a pier and that we're basically looking underneath the boardwalk. Um, but obviously we have a ways to go. We are giving this piece away to one of you. You get to pick who gets it and you get to nominate who is up for the running. So um, we're all of us are going to be involved in this, you guys. Everybody, every single person gets to vote if you choose to participate. Um, so what you'll do is you'll email me your nominee at Dion at the .com, And that email is in here in the comments, you guys. If you're watching the replay, you'll send your nomination in 100 words or less. I Hopefully 100 words or less. I mean, don't send me an essay. But I need, you know, all the reasons why you want to nominate this particular person and why they are deserving of winning a piece of furniture from me. Um, we're not going to put this up for sale. Um, we're going to give it away. So we'll read over the nominations and we're going to narrow it down to three people. And then um, we'll send out an email to everybody on my email list. So you have to be on the email list if you want to vote um, and for it to count. Um, and so we'll, we'll put together an email and we'll have um, all three of the nominations and why they deserve. And then based on all the replies that I get back, we're gonna tally them. You guys are gonna vote for the winners. I'm gonna read all of them here. Um, oh, I just saw that Gavin was on. Yeah, Gavin's on the way. His mom was on too. Oh, that's wonderful, you guys. Thanks for being here. Um, uh, the trees, is that a nightstand? Um, it's kind of like a Bombay chest. Um, you could put it next to your bed. You could put it next to in your living room. You could put it as an entry cabinet. Um, you can send some, you can nominate someone or you can have a friend nominate you. But um, I don't know if you should nominate yourself. See, no, yeah. Um, so like I said, I don't care if you work it out to where, hey, you nominate me and I nominate you. Um, that kind of thing you can get together, but um, we want to find someone deserving and that um, maybe is just that special person. And we want, to, we know so many of you and we don't want to ultimately be the one that decides or just randomly pick someone for sharing. I love that you're sharing the videos, um, but I feel like this should be um, even more like I want to know the story about the person that you feel is deserving. What do I mean? What if I only know their YouTube name? LOL. Jasmine, I get that. And I think I think it would be okay yeah, would be if you listed their YouTube name. Um, I think that as long as they watch on a normal basis, that would be that would be okay because we'd be I think we'd be able to track them down. It'd be a little easier to track yeah, them. Yeah, as long as it's if you're gonna use a YouTube person, you only know their YouTube name, it makes perfect sense. Um, we'll just um We'll just call them by their YouTube name. And um, I figure if they get nominated or if they win, they'll be watching. So you want to make sure that you catch Wednesday night, next Sunday, and the following Wednesday. And then we'll make the announcement for who wins on the 24th. And then nominees will stop on the 23rd. Okay. So I'm so excited to give this away. Like there could be tears involved. What did you just say? Nominees start on the 23rd? No, they end on the 23rd. And then you make the announcement when? On Sunday the 24th. That doesn't give me much time. That doesn't give you much time at all. That doesn't give we me much time. We need at least time. three or four days to kind of. All right. Well, I may not be able to announce it then, but we're going to give two weeks for people to nominate. So That's fine. Yeah. we'll be, be make sure if you're at least watching, um, you know, after tonight that you're at least watching Wednesday and Sunday and the following Wednesday. And I'll be working on this piece and we'll be talking about, and if I get some entries, I'm probably gonna bring them on here and read them and print them out so everybody can just, you know, hear some of the entries. And we may read a few if it's okay to read them all online too. That would be neat to hear. Yes, thank you for posting that on Facebook and YouTube, Michelle. You could announce the following Wednesday after the deadline. That's probably what I'll end up having to do, Jess, when I have to give it a few days um, because we need to narrow it down and I'm kind of a slow put, reader. Put too, together an so. email, and um, I'll announce the, the the nominees, the three that we narrow it down to, 
But in order to vote and participate, I need you to go. Um, you'll have to do it through my email. It's the only way I really know how to do it. Um, so anyway, we have Sandy Blonde, All 57, Salty Kiss, Monet's Garden, and Bohemian Blue. We'll be adding in some copper, and this was just kind of the base coat, just to kind um, we'll have time to vote too, right? Yes. Yes. Oh, we have to think about that too, Heather. We have to give time to vote. So nominees <laughs> in on the 23rd. Hello. Like nominees 23rd, we'll work everything out. We'll work everything else after that. But um, to hear some of the nominees and some of the readings, I will. Um, okay, Lori Stanley Henderson has a good question. Vote for someone on here or someone we know that's worthy. Anybody you know that's worthy. They do not have to have ever watched this show. They don't have to be interested in painting or know who I am. It does not matter to me. You vote somebody that you find is worthy. It could be a, a mom at your child's school. It could be your next door neighbor. It could be anyone. It doesn't matter to me. But I'm so excited. I think it was going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. I love giving things away. I love giving gifts. And I thought for some reason, this just feels like the right thing to do right now. And of course, it's Mother's Day. So let's even do this. So it's it's a lot of fun. Matt and I are excited. We both kind of had the jitters before we started because we were just excited. So I want to do this the, the, the fairest way. And I want to involve all of you in participating and um, selecting the person that we're going to give the piece away to. And maybe we'll just start a thing. Maybe we'll just start a trend. Um, thank you, Michelle, for posting everything. And um, anything else? Um, yeah, uh, keep in mind um, what you guys want to give me for Father's Day. So we can talk more about it. I'll start my list if you want to start your list. And then we can collaborate on Wednesday. All right. Okay. So that's good, man. I'm glad you got that cleared up. <laughs> uh, uh, we have a question. Will it be disqualified if it's over a hundred words? No, it will not be disqualified. You're just going to take up more of my time, which I'm, I'm here for it. And I'm going to read word for word, no matter what. I just felt like I needed to say, keep it under a hundred words. <laughs> just yeah, do your I mean, best. Just, yeah, do your best. Do your best. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Just do your best. But of course, if it goes over, I completely understand. It would be hard for me to shorten it as well. Um, no, he's not hilarious. Gene, don't encourage that. Oh, I've got tons of laughing faces. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. They, you know what? You know what it is? They're excited about making my list. Well, why would they buy you a Father's Day gift? No, they wouldn't. They're going to help me get ideas. They're going to make lists for me. To give me? Your yes, Father's Day? of course. Lordy mercy. <laughs> oh, Josie says she's got her thinking cap on, Matt. Oh, oh thank I, you, Jess. I expect, I expect some good ideas coming next Wednesday, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Llewellyn said her husband's already been looking this morning. He's already got his ideas. Like, all right, Ooh. there's Mother's Day. I nailed it this year. So I came in there this morning. I'm gonna tell you all this real quick before I let you go. I came into the kitchen this morning, and Matt was making my French toast, and I like it with honey and blueberries and cinnamon. <clears throat> Right? Yeah, I just really got dry there for a second. So I look on the counter, and Elijah's not home. He left this morning. Do you want to go get it? Yes, go get it. He's not. He's not on here. So Matt, Elijah, my eighteen-year-old, painted me a painting. And like, it's okay. He won't care, right? Yeah, he won't care. Nobody tell him. Um, so it was laying on the the kitchen table where I eat, and he had a note next to it. So he wrote me a note. And I'll tell you how honorary this child is. But he came in here this morning before he had to go. Um, and he got in here in my studio and he found some small canvases. And um, <laughs> he found some small canvases. And he got my paints out and he got my paint, my paintbrushes out. And he moved my easel and like he could tell he was in here. He was painting. So he painted me a painting. And so he had it laid out on the table with a note. And in that note, it said something. I'm going to show you the painting, okay? In the note, it said, <clears throat> Happy Mother's Day. I know I've wasted your paint. I know I wasted one of your canvases. And we both know that you do not need any extra chocolate. <laughs> so, of course, I giggled. Oh, he's so rotten. He's so rotten. And he goes, but I love you so much. You'll always be my mom and I will always be your son. And he went on and on and on and on. It was really a sweet note and that he got me when he made fun of me saying that you don't need any more chocolate. Um, but this was the painting. 
I love you. And then I got a THX, not just a thanks, but a THX. I got the abbreviated version. Hold on, hold on a little closer. And so, granted, he's 18. And, oh, and he goes, and I know that this painting looks like a five-year-old did it, but. <laughs> you start crying. I did start crying, guys, because it totally threw me. Like, it totally threw me that my 18-year-old was in my studio painting. Whether it was last night or early this morning or whenever it was, he snuck in here and did this. And I, um, well, I'm going to just say it was a really nice gift, and it really melted my heart. Um, and so. Holden was still asleep. So he looked at me, he goes, well, I win. Holden's still asleep. And I've already given you my gift, given you a hug, told you I love you. And so I win this year. I'm the best son. So that's the kind of um, competitive spirit that we have going on in our household. But um, I did get my wind chimes. And so they're making that nice little tinkly sound right now outside. Um, but yeah, that was one of my gifts. You guys are awesome. Thank you. I love that y'all are wanting to participate in the giveaway and nominating Anybody that you feel is worthy or who deserves to win a free piece of furniture, um, I appreciate you so much. So if y'all have any questions, we will for sure be back on Wednesday, 8.30 Central Time. If you're watching the replay and have questions, be sure you tag me. I'll try to get back with you. Also, we may be on tomorrow, but if we are, we won't be working on this. We'll probably work on something else. Um, but anyway. Hope you all have a great Monday. And again, to all of you celebrating or celebrating someone that's special and dear in your life, happy Mother's Day. And um, we'll see you very soon. Yep. See ya. See ya. Okay. Now, since we're on the device, let me see how this is going to work. Just press the off button. You don't know.